Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Guys Talking About Shit podcast, a.k.a. the GTAS podcast, being recorded on Sunday, March 25th, 2018, my birthday. I'm your host, Bob Rusin, and I'm joined by my co-host, the always dexterous Adam Miller. What's up? Happy birthday, Bobby. Yeah, I know. It's my birthday today, and I'm very hungover. Very hungover. You know what I got you for your birthday? Nothing. I was only 45 minutes late instead of an hour late today. No, you were an hour. I said I was going to be here at 1.30. Yes. I got and here when at you, 2.17. You got here at 2.22. That's when you opened the door. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Adam, for actually showing up in a timely fashion. You're, you're a real classy guy. But, I mean, what's been up with you since the last week? I'm, I'm sorry I'm not so energetic today. Like, I am massively, massively hungover adam even when he opened the door was like dude you look like shit my <laughs> hair like i know i normally wear a hat but today i'm wearing my hat because i have like such ridiculously bad bedhead right now that it's just it's a fucking catastrophe and no one needs to see my my hair like that and yet you just showed them huh i said and yet you just no showed one needs them. To, no one needs to see it the whole time oh, okay i didn't i didn't it think would distract so. From the very complex. Well, I like to at least look semi-presentable for a show where all I do is sit down. I mean, you're literally looking from the top half of me up. You think you could at least maybe, you know, look, you do, you, you try to present yourself well. Yeah. You try to have a nice presentation. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, the viewer is still getting the worst half of me. The bottom half of you is not much better. I've I've seen it. It's nothing. It's nothing to ride home about. So, okay, Adam. Um, so let's just kind of like get into this, and we're gonna start off quickly and go into our first topic of the day, which is EA is working on an open world Star Wars game. It's kind of just come out that they were recently working on one. Adam, would you want an open world Star Wars game? Or do you want I even mean, anything it, from EA at this point? Because everything... I mean, I would prefer that somebody else who's actually fucking good at making games would make it. But um. Well, the one I, thing that I... I, I it, it's all coming from a job listing that was recently published on EA's job site. And it reads, lead a team to develop online features for a Star Wars open world project. Uh, th- that That's pretty much it. But, I mean, they're looking for leaders on it. I like how they're just posting job listings. Like, yeah, come on. Come on, we need a leader for this team. Um, and this all kind of comes out of the woodwork of whenever they canceled the Visceral Studios one. Because Visceral yeah. Studios was working we, on a single player. was working on a single player Star Wars game. Uh, That they quote as, let me see what the actual, Arvisor Studio had been developing an action adventure set in the Star Wars universe. In its current form, it was shaping up to be a story-based linear adventure game. Uh, So, I am, I'm kind of, uh, I'm not, I'm not anti this concept, but, uh, with EA, that's one thing is you got EA handling it. Two, Star Wars is a very vast universe of, of characters. And um, am I going to be interested in the general concept of whatever they're trying to convey? Well, you, Maybe not. You and also, that not that it really matters to you, but all the games and stuff, I mean, it's kind of loose at this point. But all the games and books and the comics are all supposed to be developed as canon with mm-hmm. the movies. So, I mean, they don't have to actually interconnect with the films, but they have to be, like, approved by Disney as this yeah. story works. Yeah. So, it, it, I doubt it's going to, they're even, if you're, if you're going to develop a game where you can do whatever you want in it, and it's an open world, um, everything has to fall into this so-called canon that they work with. I do yeah. the air quotes on that because some of the books have had a lot of mess-ups where they don't coincide with the information that's given on the films yeah. and then presented in some comics and they're, they're yeah. saying it's all canon but unfortunately they're not really doing a good job they're, they're right that. now it's not terrible it's not like things are all over the place but it feels like it's kind of becoming the star wars expanded universe how it was where it's like yeah. it's not officially canon but we just it's accept canon. it 
So I think that it's it's interesting that EA is deciding to do an open world one, where unlike the Battlefront Two thing, it was just kind of a very I watched the 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 scenes from it. It yeah. was okay. It it had its point. It was super generic and very predictable. But I was like, okay. But it was all kind of a tease to try to hint that the characters were gonna be Ray's parents. Because, yeah. oh, they're on Jakku. Oh, they have a daughter. Yeah. Wink, wink. We all know that that's now, at this point, spoiler alert, is false. That Ray's parents were pretty much complete trash people who sold her for alcohol money. And it's... I, I, I don't know. I, I My issue with this is I worry that this game sounds like it's going to be like a division. Where it's just not a lot to do yeah. in a big world. Because I, 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 yeah, that was the main. I mean, we. I don't know if you did, but I played the division a lot. Did yeah, we, I played it a lot yeah, with you, dude. I, yeah, I, I, okay. I, we, we, were, played, we were playing it together. I actually don't hate the division. It just got really Neither boring. Of us did. Yeah, it was just super repetitive. Like if they do two, I'm, I'm all about it. Like I, I, I didn't hate it to the point where I was like, I think, I'd never play a sequel. I think I'm a little more cautious than you. I'm not saying I wouldn't play a sequel, but they'd have to fix all the. They'd have to fix the main issues of man. This is really just. The same I mean, thing over and over again. For me, the division takes the exact same place as Destiny. Like I enjoyed my experience with it, not enough to go back and have another experience with an almost identical concept. Okay, um, I'm gonna. I enjoyed Destiny more than the division, mostly because I played all of my experience with Destiny with you. Mm-hmm. And when I try to play Destiny by itself, you'd always say, "Hey." Uh, get this mission done whenever I come back because you are a much higher level than me. And you'd say, hey, get this mission done and we'll go do this when I get back. And I struggled or I just wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because playing Destiny Destiny by by yourself yourself is fucking boring. Yeah, I actually would play Destiny, or uh, I'm sorry, The Division by itself and have a good time. But after a while, it just was like, oh man, I'm just doing the same fucking thing and just bullet sponge characters like i liked the like diversity of it like with the weapons and Mm -hmm. and the shooting like the game looked and sounded great it's just that the gameplay was as shallow as a puddle yeah it was just so weak um so i'm looking i'm wondering if there's any other ea open world games i want to see like one of some of the other ones that they've done Okay, oof. Um, <laughs> not the greatest track record right now. What, what's on the list? So we have Anthem. It hasn't come out yet, so we don't have anything and, clue about. Which is currently in development hell. They're losing uh, people working on that project yeah. left and right. The last two Need for Speeds were um, open world. My brother really enjoyed them. I mean, I wouldn't say Dude, that. I, I, the, they, like, in my opinion, there really hasn't been a good open world Need for Speed game since, uh, I'd say, Carbon. And the best one was the original Most Wanted. But some people like the stuff that came afterwards. You know, it's just personal preference. Yeah, I, I, they, I didn't play the Need for Speed, the Payback one. The other one, I, I heard that this, that was a complete mess when yeah, it came to I the microtransactions. That. The first one? No, no, no. The, the second one. The second one. Need for yeah. Speed with the redone version. Mm-hmm. Had, then that's had the one, problems with microtransactions. The, the, the one payback, like, ruined the whole experience. Like, there was almost no customization. All you had to do was do random car generations. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not terrible, but, I mean, they, they, they fuck some shit up. EA hasn't done really anything like open world for a long time. I, I mean, The other one they have is the Saboteur. Which is, oh. Do you sa- love that game? The Saboteur. Oh, you love that game? <laughs> yes, that game is amazing. Yeah? Yes. Is that a, would you describe that as open world? Yeah. Yeah, it is an open world game. I forgot about that. But that was also Pandemic Studios, which EA completely fucking liquidated. They oh, also, yeah. They also the did other Mercenaries, one, Mercenaries Mercenaries too. too. Yeah. Which Mercenaries, I thought was fun. Um, Mercenaries 2, I was, I had fun with it too, but, uh. It, it seemed like it lost its luster whenever it went to the sequel. I, I don't know why. I, th- I thought the first Mercenaries was you're great. Not, you're not alone in that. Most people... Weren't you know, happy like, with Mercenaries 2? They didn't hate it, but it, they're just like, oh, this is an okay follow-up. Well, if we also know what other games that Pandemic did, the original Battlefront games. Also excellent games. Those are excellent games. So, I... I look... Basically, it, I just wanted to say this. 
EA has a, an extremely long track record of making mediocre games. They've been doing it since the fucking Sega Genesis era. Mm-hmm. And anybody who says that they that EA makes good games is... I don't want to say that EA's never made a good game. No, they have. But what I'm saying is EA's made more shit games than probably any other company besides like old shit like LJN, stuff that doesn't exist anymore. Apparently, though, what they just did was they did that Way Out game. They're EA, publishing it. They're publishing it, that yes. That fucking crazy drunk is the one who made that game, and that's probably why it's going to be fun. <laughs> that guy, yeah, I forgot about that. Fuck the, this transaction bullshit. <laughs> that guy from the uh, Game Awards. Yeah. He was great. He was the most entertaining thing. Yeah, EA's pretty much just become... Oh, and I mean, EA did uh, Battlefront and Battlefield uh, 1. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They have they have franch like Battlefield. They have a franchise Battlefield that does well. They have a couple other games that do well, but by and large, if you look at EA's category or, or uh, catalog of titles. games, it's sports games and like really shitty games. Yeah, you're not. I'm looking. I I just typed in EA recent games, and it's stuff like uh, Sims, sports titles, Need for Speed, Battlefront. And then, like, a random game called Fee, but then they also released Mass Effect Andromeda. Which and, was shit. Yeah. And then Titanfall 2, which... Uh, didn't is, do well. Didn't do well, but is supposedly a really good game. Yeah. So, EA... I'm I, talking about, lo- like, larger scale than that. If you go back to the beginning of EA, back to when I first started seeing Electronic Arts was in the Sega Genesis era, but they were making games before that. Most of their games are shit. <laughs> I mean, I know you don't. You are not a, not the biggest fan of EA. No. We are both not very big no. fans of EA, and I I, are, I, I agree with you. There I, are EA games that I love. Yeah, again, the Saboteur being one of them. But I, I agree with that. You should that like EA should not be handling the Star Wars license and properties. But look, I mean, if they do an open world game and they don't boggle it down with just complete microtransaction bullcrap throughout the whole thing. I'm fine with that. I don't care about microtransactions in games. I I care when it breaks the game. Yeah, when it affects the gameplay. Yeah, which they did. I don't care about cosmetic cosmetic microtransactions. Yeah, they're fucking like bullshit nickel and diming of your customers, but they don't affect your gameplay. Yeah, I I yeah, it just it they gotta they gotta they gotta fix some shit. Um, Okay, Adam, we're going on to our next topic. Last week, we discussed the, the pretty sad news that uh, Toys R Us was going to be closing down all of its stores. Well, the sad news is that there are 31,000 people losing jobs. But Yes, that was the other one. Yes, that 30, <laughs> yeah, 31,000. I think we even said it might have been 33. But either way, yeah, you, we'll just round it down to 30,000. That's still terrible. 30,000 people are going to be losing their jobs. And a just a beloved toy company that we've all kind of loved whenever we were kids is just completely going under just because of bad business decisions and just the growing market yeah and one of the ones you i was talking with hey what what's some things you want to talk about on the show and you had mentioned oh did you hear about this bullshit toys r us uh crowdfund i'm like that can't be real that can't be real and i'm like adam that's just adam spewing his typical uh conspiracy bullshit i'm like (laughs) No way that a billionaire would ask for money to so- help save the company. Well, little little research I did. Adam wasn't just talking out of his ass. I'm always right. You're not always right, but man, I was like, no way, Adam. Come on. I'm not going to repeat. I'm not going to do your conspiracy bullshit. But there's about, a GoFundMe page. There's a GoFundMe for page. Save Toys R Us. Yes. It so is the, Toys R Us's CEO last ditch effort to save the company a company that he couldn't manage properly and Mm -hmm. ran into the ground yep and any longtime customer would tell you ruined the fucking company and the customer experience and any fucking employee would probably tell you was doing shit that didn't make any sense i know uh so i was asking for one billion dollars on gofundme so do you want me to you want me to read this? Uh, yeah, yeah, read it. Okay, that's uh, don't let the lights go out for the next generation of Toys R Us kids. Donate now to help save 
Toys R Us. And this is, I'm on their GoFundMe page right now. Toys R Us is on the verge of permanently closing its doors. It feels like an end of an era with sad headlines spreading across news and social media. But there is time to save this American icon and you can help. This GoFundMe campaign is spearheaded by Isaac Lorraine and various investor associates. Isaac Lorraine is the CEO of MGA Entertainment, one of the world's leading privately held toy and entertainment companies and creator of family favorite brand titles, including Little Tykes. Isaac and his associates are devoted to saving the retail chain and preserving the Toys R Us experience for future generations. You can be a part of this historic movement to hashtag save Toys R Us by donating today. Your donation will help to ensure the generations to come can always be Toys R Us kids and save employees that are at stake should wait whose jobs that are at stake should be company cease should the company cease operations sorry tongue twist a little bit there the deadline for reaching the 1 billion goal is memorial day may 2018 the funds collected through this campaign would be used to in the formulation of a bid to acquire some toys r us assets through the bankruptcy process this is not a charitable donation and certain door donor disclosures apply Please read before donating. Be advised that this is not a donation to a charitable cause and would there is no tax deduction available. It is a donation to potentially to a potentially commercial venture. The funds raised would be added to other capital being gathered by the potential purchasers of some or all of Toys R Us. A donation to this campaign doesn't qualify you to claim equity in any potential acquisition. It simply means that you want future generations to be Toys R Us kids. Therefore, before donating, please note that there is no guarantee that the offer to purchase Toys R Us described will be made or accepted. You are donating at your own risk. If your donation is not used to achieve the purchase of Toys R Us in some form, it will be returned to you. Okay. That uh, that was the one thing I was sitting on. Because like, a lot of these GoFundMe shit, if you don't get it completely funded, sometimes it doesn't come back to you. Yeah. At least it is. It, it does say at the bottom, at least it will be returned to you if it is not used to achieve the purchase of Toys R Us in some form. In some form. So Man, it gets really like... Here. It, um, a billionaire asking for money. <laughs> yeah, so they are at see, they're at two hundred million though. That's fucking insane. Raised by one thousand five hundred and two people in three days, they've raised two hundred million forty six thousand one hundred and eleven dollars of one billion dollars. I didn't think it was actually going to get that high. Holy shit! <sighs> people are dumb as fuck. Hey, guess this, there's a rich guy who owns a corporation who's asking you, the working class, to donate money to him so that he can uh, he can consolidate other people's capital into his empire. <laughs> How fucking sick is this? It's pretty fucking crazy. And he's using the, the, the people who are losing their jobs because of the mismanagement of him and people like him. A, a, to try like to bait, it, it, to like try to bait you into feeling it's guilty so funny about it. how it's, it's like, so sick. I know it, it, sick. it does kind of say, like sound really funny, where it's like, "Hey, you can keep your next kids from being Toys to, you you your next group of generations can yeah. be Toys R Us kids just like you." And then at the bottom, just letting you know that you don't have any equity in this company if you donate. This is a donation, and you will not yeah, receive this is anything. An, this isn't an investment. I'm asking you to give me a billion dollars to buy something that you have no stake in. It's gross. It really, <laughs> I think it's gross. But wait, wait till you see some of the achievements. Oh, Jesus. The tears. Oh, God. I love it. For $5, you can get a to- Save Toys R Us bumper sticker. Please review, read before donating, before proceeding. So that's 5 bucks. And then what happens if you do um, 5000 Adam? What do you think you get with that? Oh, shit. I don't know. I mean, I at least expect something. <laughs> you get a sticker, pin, magnet, I'll always be a Toys R Us kid shirt, and Little Tyke Super Slam Dunk, Super Slam and Dunk. <laughs> Were you expecting me to say more? Because that's all you get. Um, <laughs> uh, Fuck. Ready? For what? For ten thousand dollars, up to twenty four thousand dollars, or twenty five thousand dollars donations. I should have because twenty four nine nine thousand four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah. You can get the pin magnet. I'll always be a Toys R Us kid shirt. Local Toys R Us party. 
and a little tykes makeover i don't know what a little tykes makeover is it sounds very disturbing um <laughs> it's I don't, I don't know what the fuck is a local toys r us party is I that a party in a local toys r us i don't know it doesn't it, for him to be doing that doesn't it sound like he already has access to the toys r us then yeah i don't know Just, what, the, what fuck? the fuck it seems pretty funny um Here's the 10,000 bummer sign a letter. Uh, and a kid CEO for the day experience, including a trip to a Southern California theme park, travel and accommodations, naming rights for a location. <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. This is crazy. Like, it's a billionaire. He won't spend any of his money. Well, I think he said he spent a little bit of his money and that... The rest of it would, uh... Well, yeah, I think their total he, their total debt is over a billion dollars. So. Yeah, he paid for the part that wasn't over a billion dollars. But this thing's trending like hell, too. Uh, it's, it's really fucking, high it's, up there. It's sick. It's fucking gross. I I can't believe that they, they got that much money. Is that... I can't believe this is legal. Yeah. I'm, I, I honestly question if this is legal. I, I honestly do. I guess whenever it says donation... Well, yeah, I mean, he clearly says this isn't a donation. This isn't a charitable donation. This is, you know, you don't own anything into this company. But I just, I, this, it seems, is, this is a clear manipulation of people. Yeah, it's it's tugging on the nostalgia heartstrings. And it's like, I mean, no, there's a reason. That, I mean, I know it was so, bad big in the business decision, but there's a reason why Toys R Us is going out of business. It's yeah. it's just changing times. It's not it's not only it's not only just bad business decisions because if you look at um there's a an accessory company for girls called Claire's they're going out of business. Yeah, they're they're uh Best there's, Buy's closing like 250 stores. Yeah, um the grocery chain uh Bilo Winn Dixie is closing 90 stores across the United States. Yeah, th- this isn't like this isn't just. Toys R Us getting into one bad decision. Like, this is clearly... This is bad decisions, which compounded an already downward trend in the market. Yes, exactly. And so, okay, let's just say they made this billion dollars, which right now, $200 million in three days is a lot of fucking money. Well, it was um, it was $200 million the last time that I looked at it, too, which was days ago. So it looks like it hasn't probably moved that much. Okay, okay. Well, that's... Well, here's the thing. Where do we get in 10, 10 years from now? 10 years from now, you know? What about what happens then? You just donated a billion dollars to save a company in a downward trajectory and why? What the fuck? Like the, I mean 10 the, years the, from now it's not these stores are going to be gone. Like I know it's changing fast and it's a lot of like for people to kind of comprehend that there's a lot of nostalgia with these things. But come on, man. Like okay, it had its time, and unfortunately, and it's sad. Uh, the only benefit to this is that people don't lose their jobs. Yeah, that's, that's literally the only benefit, the only to, benefit this. to this. To this whole entire scheme mm-hmm. is, I don't give a shit about the CEOs. And that's exactly why he's asking. Jobs. That's why he's asking for a donation instead of putting up his own money for this. Instead of taking out a loan, or you know, or having it finance whatever, or have investors come in, he's asking people for money. Because he knows he can get away with it because people want to save these jobs. Yes. It's, it's it's a gross manipulation of people's emotions. I do not like it. I do not. <clears throat> and I was dumbfounded when you told me about it. I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, you didn't even believe it was fucking real. No, I told I was like, I'm like, all right, Adam, I'll do some research on that. Wink, wink. I don't think I'm going to actually do any research on it because it doesn't seem like it's going to really be true. Yeah, it doesn't. It sounds insane. Yeah, it, it does. It sounds insane, It sounds doesn't doesn't nuts it? to me. So, ooh, Okay. All right, Adam, moving from that travesty over into another one. Um, oh, geez, what happened now? We're going to talk about the re-release, or not the re-release, the release of the teaser for the TMNT TV show. Oh, now, okay. this is one of our controversial topics because this is one of our videos that... It was like our second or third most popular yeah, video. Yeah, it's one of our higher videos because it garnered a lot of controversy because me and Adam absolutely despised the new images of, new designs, yeah. of the of the new TMNT, and I think our only problem, I, I think the only two that I actually didn't hate were uh, Michelangelo and Leonardo. I thought that they were okay, um, but and the April O'Neil one's okay. We just don't know what the fuck's up with that ghost bat. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> the fucking ghost yeah bat. she she's so, fine i just don't understand the ghost bat either yeah so we released um that video and people were like well i'm like as i said in a lot of the comments they're just images i don't like the images perhaps let's see how, how they look and how they see. move and how they maybe it'll be a little better i'm gonna honestly say i didn't think it was that bad of yeah. a trailer yeah uh um, it, i still have a lot of problems with certain parts of the animation but there are some really well done animation shots and i was mm -hmm. like oh that's really cool like there's the scene um when they're they're running into battle and april o'neill does this super like dope slide mm -hmm. and it does like this image of it like taking a like shot like, like going like upper legs like up through like the body and like showing the turtles jumping behind her like that is a really well done animated shot mm -hmm. And then there's a couple scenes with them fighting that I was like, oh, I'm 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 liking actually uh, Michelangelo's yo-yo trick. Mm -hmm. um, Splinter still looks like a fucking turd. Yeah, Splinter looks terrible. And uh, I hate Raph's voice, voice actor. I don't think any of the voices really stood out at all they all just seem like your general run-of-the-mill children's cartoon voices yeah they, there was nothing too amazing the only yeah. big one is that john cena is voicing the bad guy <laughs> so he sounded you know damn yeah, he sounded menacing and I, yeah. I i i give the show props for actually going with a villain i'm sure eventually they're gonna release shredder how could you not or krang yeah. but i actually give them a lot of credit for not pumping out just another shredder or another krang i thought i heard rumors that bebop and rock steady were actually in there but they're not in the trailer all it is is just introducing us to these new turtles um so i gotta say i am uh i'm pleasantly surprised it was better than i expected it to be at least in action seeing it in mm -hmm. action it was better than i expected it to be I'm still not interested in watching it. <laughs> yeah. It, it does seem like the, this show does look like it is geared more towards like the, the children. Like the Teen Titans Go audience. Yes. And to be fair, I mean, when I, when I saw the, the 2012 CGI one, I was like, okay, this is not going to be a show that I'm going to be interested in. And a lot of people were like, no, check it out. It's actually way more... There's a lot more jokes and a lot more references to adult things that kids just don't get, mm -hmm. but they work it in there really well. I'm like, okay, and obviously we all know I love the t the 2012 yeah. version. I haven't started it yet, but, no, I, but I, I am. I have made the commitment. I will do it. It is all on Hulu now. Oh, they have the it? whole show I think on Hulu now. So right. now that it's done, they have the whole run on there. So it's a lot easier. I don't have to lend you all the DVDs. Um, yeah, so actually, color me pleasantly surprised that I actually didn't hate the trailer. I watched it a couple times because I thought some of the animation was really well done. Yeah. Um, it seemed to be less neon, like the the uh, the yeah. teaser trying so, to yeah, tease. like the teaser images were like there's ooh, super there was a lot of neon glow coming off of everything, and I hate that. And there it were really still wasn't, some aspects it, there to was, it. But there was some, but it was not overdone. I hate that. I also still hate how Donnie gets around and his stupid flying jetpack thing that, like, he sits there, like, in a meditation stance as he flies this jetpack thing. I, I hate seeing that. While all the turtles are jumping around, Donnie's floating around. It looks stupid. Um, but, no, I mean, I'm interested in the show. I still have my reservations about it. But I do think that, as I said, in a lot of my comments... That perhaps the images didn't look good, but they might look okay in, in, animation. in animation. There's some weird joltiness when how characters move that do remind me of like Teen Titans Go. Yeah. That I was like, uh. And it, it, here's the thing about this. This show, you you just said not too, like a couple seconds ago that you it reminds you of Teen Titans Go. Yeah. Okay. And I kind of agreed. I was like, man, this does kind of like seem like Teen Titans Go, but it doesn't look like it's as like self-aware of how bad like Teen Titans kind like Teen Titans Go knows that what it is. Like it yeah. is, it constantly makes fun of itself and it, it's clearly not the original animation show. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I don't think that this show is trying to be like, we're not an old show at all. We're, we're just trying to do a new fresh take on it. Yeah. Unlike Teen Titans Go, I think a lot of people were like, oh, it's going to do a new fresh take with this weird animation. But then it just kind of is, it's really geared towards uh, a lot of children. There are apparently some 
elements of Teen Titans Go that kind of become more adult, but uh, for the most part, it's very kiddie. Yeah. So hopefully that this. Well, I mean, sh- it's a cartoon. Cartoons should appeal to children. Toward, toward children. Yeah, this isn't like South Park or like <clears throat> Family Guy where it's yeah. animation geared or towards. Archer or Archer. Yeah, yeah, any of that. I, I do agree, though, that it, it does remind me of Teen Titans Go on the way it's drawn and how some of the characters interact. Uh, like there's a scene where Raph gets thrown through a wall that I was like, oh, that feels very cartoony, Teen mm-hmm. Titan Go-ish. And uh, so, who, who knows? I mean, the show, when does the show actually premiere? Did did you catch that in the trailer? No, I didn't catch that. Let me I, see. I, I, one of the TV. things that, like, that really was like, oh, this is Teen Titans Go, like, hands down, is uh, Donnie's working with some kind of control box, and he's like, I can fix it, I, I can, can fix, fix it, it. And, and then he's like, and he breaks face. it on his face and says, I can't fix it. That's super, super, like, simplistic humor is the kind of stuff that they put into children's cartoons like cartoons that are 100 percent geared towards kids yeah and it's it's fine it's it's whatever yeah no i mean, I mean gonna be the, that's if that's the audience it's for i think it'll do well it's like slipping audience. on it's like slipping on a banana peel it's like okay it's a really low brow like it's not low brow but it's it's a common simplistic yeah it's a simplistic joke that um you know okay this is apparently gonna launch in um 2000 18 september okay so that's when we're supposed to be getting the show is around september i i that seems very far away is that really it they're already doing a teaser trailer for something that doesn't come out until september let me rise of tmnt premiere date i can't imagine that that's all gonna be all the way yeah, september 2018 wow that's really far away i i kind of thought that it'd be a little bit more ready but i guess because it's it is 26 episodes mm-hmm. so We'll see. Um, but yeah, so for all those people who were like sitting there saying like, oh, you're judging it unfairly. No, we were judging it on the images. Bad images. Okay, teaser. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not my favorite, but I'm a little more interested in it now. But I mean, I was going to watch it regardless of whether it was good or shitty because yeah. I've also had to watch Next Generation TMNT. Holy shit. Holy fuck shit. I... I watch that whole show and dealt we i was talking with someone in the comment section about yeah i'm still trying to get the image of turtle breasts out of my head <laughs> it's so bad venus de milo uh-huh isn't that her name venus de milo the character yeah something like that wasn't it i don't know i i really tried turtles next gen oh, i can't believe you're making me look this up oh oh it's it, it i i literally just got shivers just thinking about the turtle with breasts <laughs> <laughs> turtle turtle next generation girl turtle Ugh. let's see uh oh jesus christ <laughs> oh my god i hate this thing oh look at this look at that look at that image what the fuck yeah what were you thinking with that come on guys oh and then they made him like like yeah interested in her it just come on what is her fucking name i cannot find this name to yeah venus de mio oh god what a piece of shit character okay adam going on to the next topic of the day we are going to be discussing the recent deadpool 2 trailer looks awesome Uh, i'm gonna completely agree um it seems like Cable was the bad guy. Like, he is the bad guy, it seems. Yeah, um, it makes sense. They are That's definitely... What he does is travels through time and hunts dangerous mutants. Yeah, uh, he wants this, like, kid who's, like, shooting energy blasts from his hands, and I'm wondering if he is, uh, a relative of Cyclops. Because I believe in the show X-Men Evolution, there was his b- long-lost brother who could fire blasts from his hands. Yeah. So... I'm wondering if that has anything to do with that, who that kid is. Even though he doesn't look anything like um, a Cyclops, he looks yeah. almost like if a uh, Spanish descent, like almost like maybe like a Mexican or a Spanish type of... Yeah. D- he looks something of that race. And uh, I, I I think it's funny. I love the little picture of him like fl- flipping uh, the bird to them. I think that's really funny. 
I will, I think it's kind of funny that they are just trying to find any way to say the F word in any weird way they could possibly say it. Like, I think one of them was fucksicle. What the fucksicle is that? <laughs> um, let's go get our fuck on. Yeah. Like, it's, it's so childishly humored that it's really funny because mm-hmm. it's just like Deadpool is a perfect uh, – an amalgamation of what I like in uh, what they've done with Deadpool in the movies as opposed to in the comics. Like I, I think Deadpool is so overhyped as a character, but when you do him right, he yeah. is super entertaining. Yeah. And it's the same thing with – I prefer the, the – Com, not the comic book. I prefer the movie version of Deadpool as opposed to his comic book counterpart. Yeah, and it's like the same thing I do with Captain America. I like the movie, the movie version, version better than the, the actual character. Um, it seems that they have uh, Terry Crews is in there. Terry Crews was one of the guy on his uh, X Force, and I kind of was it Terry Crews. That was sure. Yeah, isn't Terry Crews the uh, Old Spice guy? Yeah, yeah, him. It was him. He's in there. Let me see. He plays uh Terry Crews plays a character. Yeah, this is Terry Crews's new character. That was him. <laughs> it's so funny. He plays a long-standing X-Force character by the name of let's see what his name is. Um Bedlam? Yeah, oh yeah. Mhm. That's him. That's his character I didn't know it was name. Terry Crews. Yeah, look here. <clears throat> there he is. See? Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely Terry Crews. Um, there's actually a really funny Terry image Cruz that somebody is was one of the greatest people living today. I just Terry Crews is hilarious. I love yeah. Terry Crews. Um, I think that there's in the X Force. There's a someone paused an image. I forget who did it. Someone paused an image and they took the photo of it and they're like, "Is that Bill Skarsgård or not Bill Skarsgård? But whoever played Pennywise mm-hmm. in the It movie, like it looked just like him." And I'm like, "He's not listed." And we were just kind of, uh, holy shit, is that, <laughs> we, we weren't really sure. Um, what is, oh yeah, it is, it is Bill Skarsgård. Yeah, Bill Skarsgård. Yeah, we don't know if that's him, but it looked just like him. Mm-hmm. And he's got a real distinct looking face. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy to think that if he's in there, I mean, and they're just keeping him secret. Like, I wonder. And uh, they did a bunch of reshoots. Also, yeah. they, I think um, Josh Brolin, who plays Cable, said something like, we were going in there. I'm paraphrasing this, by the way. Um, we're going to add some more humor to it. And it's clearly going to be more like relevant jokes, probably yeah. about Thanos. I think yeah. they're going to, they're got to mention that he's playing Thanos in Infinity War. Yeah. They have to. That's such an easy joke to do. Yeah. But, and it, and it'd probably be a pretty funny joke too. Um, I also do you think Gal Gadot teased Ryan Reynolds saying that she that he stole the um, the Wonder Woman pose from the cover to do the X Force logo? I just sat there. I'm like, is he totally just doing the uh, Black Panther Wakandan salute, like going like that? That's what I kind of thought he was doing. Yeah. I thought he was making fun of it, but I love the we're gonna be called the X Force. Isn't that really derivative? <laughs> yes. It absolutely is. <laughs> like, and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Megasonic Teenage Warhead's in there. Yeah. And Colossus. Colossus is back in there. for You don't see his face, but you can see Deadpool grabbing his ass. And I just kind of... Did you ever see the movie Scary Movie 2? Yeah. And they do that Nike commercial with the, with the wheelchair. Yeah. And they're doing the whole entire basketball scenes. And yeah. David Cross spins on his head. I, I just I can't I can't stop laughing at the image of of Deadpool spinning around in the Professor Xavier chair just like just being an asshole. But I mean that's what these movies are about is mm-hmm. him being an asshole, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, and that that shot that handgun scene where he puts his hand gets his hand blasted through the gun. Yeah, he just grabs the gun with the hole in his hand and twists twist. it. Yeah, I think that's a it's a pretty cool image. So yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it looks like I mean, Deadpool's gonna be a good movie. That's gonna be a fun movie. Yeah. Did you hear about those fake uh, rumors about how um, Deadpool 2's like screen reactions were terrible? Did you hear about that at all? Mm-mm. Well, that was going on for a little bit. Of 
that its test screenings were awful, like terrible. And then everyone's all like, w nobody has like said anything about that. Where is this coming from? And it's like, it's pretty crazy how you can see like Reddit stories just kind of become actual news stories. It's oh, pretty, yeah. I mean, that's not that's not new at all. No, it definitely isn't. Pe people lying on the internet is as old as, uh, you know, the existence of a forum. You remember my uncle worked at Pokemon, and if you... What? You remember all the my uncle worked at Pokemon myths? Like, <clears throat> if you die on the SS Anne or whatever the fuck the name of that ship was, and you go back, and you swim out to the truck, and you move the truck... Then oh, yeah, out. that Mew's uh, under the truck? Yeah, Mew was under the truck, blah, 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 like, all that That's shit. That's still, like, a... a, a <clears throat> Urban legend one, or like Bigfoot in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, because I looked forever for Bigfoot, and never <laughs> found him. And then I found out that I was a, an idiot, spent a lot of his time just looking in the woods for Bigfoot in a video game. <laughs> Stupid me. All right, Adam, we are going to be going on to the last story of the day, which is the leaked images of the Justice League Mortal who was originally intended to be just its first start of the DC universe be, to be directed by uh, George Miller, mm -hmm. who is famous for doing the Mad Max Mad Max, Max, Mad Max films. Ooh, I, man, I am way too hungover to be doing this today. I am just twisting. I can't believe I read that whole entire story of the, uh, of the Toys R Us thing and not fuck it up as badly as I did at the latter end. I couldn't yeah. understand that. So the images got leaked. And I showed you some of the images. What did you think of them? Um, uh, of these, they're they're almost so blurry you can't even tell like who's who. You can't really see faces. Yeah, that well. you can't really tell who these people are. And um, the the most of the suits don't look very good. Uh, they're too bright. The colors are way too bright. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna going off of what I'm <laughs> looking at because we had the image posted obviously below, but. Um, I'm going to say, okay, I'll go through each one. You want to just go through each one yeah. what you think about it? That, yeah, I remember what they look like. Um, what did you think of the Batman? I mean, it's blurry because it's a lot of black. Yeah, I couldn't see. I couldn't make out any details on it. Um, the Batman looks like it has really, really long ears. Yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of the long ears. Uh, I'm much more down with the... The, sh the short ears in the, in the cow? Yeah, I'm much more down with the short ears because I think... They look, they work with like, obviously, uh, like the Tim Burton Batmans. They they work, but I, I don't know. I that's kind of one of one of the things I enjoy a little bit more about the Ben Affleck interpretation of it is that I like the costume a lot. Um, I I, I kind of prefer the the, the, the shorter short ears. ears rather than well, like the short ears the, the really tall like Nightfall. You ever seen the Nightfall yeah. ears? How tall they are? They're like. They're like a whole forearm above the head. Yeah. Ridiculous looking. Um, I'm going to say that the, <clears throat> um, uh, apparently Army Hammer came out, and who was originally intended to play Batman in this movie, um, said that that's not even what the final costume was going to look like. So we don't know if we're ever going to get leaked images of those again. I'm, I'd love to see like um, a behind the scenes of the making of this because they were seriously like days ready to get take it going and shoot on this thing yeah and then it just got scrapped to do man of steel uh so i'm very curious um all right so going on to the next one the superman one two thumbs down yeah i think this is actually the worst costume mm -hmm. um because okay they did get rid of the tights the red tights which i think that is completely i'm completely fine with getting rid of the red tights i think they look great on animation they look good in comics they work but they just don't work in a modern sense because yeah, action, yeah. because the superman returns with brandon routh um just non-stop was just man it looks ridiculous that uh, that outside underwear just looks really goofy um but i have a problem with the belt why does he have a belt, like, ingrained into a one-piece suit? It's just dumb. Yeah. Why? And the, the blue. The blue is, like, fucking electric blue. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> it... Yeah, it looks like shit. Mm -hmm. Like, it is just... And then the red on the cape doesn't look right. 
there's just I mean I guess look right I mean what what's my interpretation of it but the red and the blue just clash really bad yeah. like it is not a good design maybe this is the lighting in the in the picture that they're doing but if this was supposed to be like their official photos it's bad it's a that's the worst one I think mm -hmm. um okay going on to the next one which is the flash which I'm gonna say I think the flash is the best looking costume I think that out of all of them yeah, uh, looking wise it looks the best um and I feel like the flashes should be like one of the harder costumes to to do because I think that the costume in the TV show I don't watch the flash TV show but I don't like the costume in the TV show and I wasn't really that big of a fan of the costume in the Justice League film either it looked way too metallic yeah and I'm like really this kid made this out of in the movie they say oh this is the same type of material that astronauts use when they're coming into orbit or something like this like how did he get a hold of that did he steal all of it was he just and he's yeah. he's so stupid in the um in the in the well he's not dumb but he's he doesn't seem like a scientist who could do this yeah in the in the justice league cartoon but this looks like a normal costume it looks like it it looks good um it is it's still so blurry to see but it seems the way that the uh the cow fits to his face looks really natural and very very uh authentic to the comic books uh okay uh did you have a problem with that one no you don't have a problem with the, the... i mean i it, again the color was colors are too vibrant but oh, okay mm. all right the aquaman what do you think of the aquaman one um it doesn't look good hey it's this weird looking like cod piece right across his like dick it just looks really bulgy and weird and uh they did the one thing I w I said don't ever do to Aquaman again is give him the hook hand. Which he has the fucking hook hand. I hate when hook they do that. Aquaman. I hate hook, man, hook hand Aquaman. That's the first thing they did to the Aquaman in the Justice League cartoon. His first thing. I was like, well, at least he doesn't have the fucking hook hand. And in the first episode they show him, he gets the hook hand. He, he, he does it in a cool way. Um... It actually makes sense to the story. Yeah. In the cartoon version of <clears throat> Aquaman, um, in the Justice League, obviously the cartoon, he is trying to save his son and his hand gets pinned down by like a rock. Now I'm like, okay, but you're Aquaman. Why can't you lift this rock? But okay, apparently it wedged so hard that he couldn't get it out. And there was like a rising volcano, an underwater volcano, like about to mm -hmm. like incinerate his son. So he just took a sharp rock and cut it off like 28 days later or not yeah. 127 hours later and just hacked the shit out of it. Or berserk. Or berserk, yeah. But um, <clears throat> I hate the hook hand. Just can we get rid of this bullshit? The, like you don't need to give him a hook hand because he's Aquaman and he sucks and give him the hook and he'll cool her. It's dumb. Yeah. You don't. Aquaman's great. We all well. Give him a fucking robotic gun hand. That's way cooler. Give him something. I, shit. I, I don't even care. I, I, I just don't give him the hook hand. It's so stupid. Just, just fucking strap a. I love door, Aquaman. Strap a DualShock Three to his fucking severed hand. At least I'd, I'd be like, okay, well, <laughs> it, at least it's more it, sense it, than the least fucking it, hook hand. At least it knows it's stupid. <laughs> um. Okay. Going on to the next one, which is the uh, Wonder Woman. Um, I actually don't have a problem with the top torso part or the shin break, uh, bra bracelets. Um, I got a problem with the weird, like, f dress. It's, it looks like a loincloth for Wonder Woman. And, yeah. uh, it's another one where I think actually I'm going to say the DCEU did it better. It's a better costume. Be, yeah. Um, this woman though, uh, they said it, Megan Gale, I'm not very familiar with her. But looking at the pictures, because they actually did release a more high def photo of her as it, she actually looks like like a really good Wonder Woman. Like my biggest criticism of uh, Gal Gadot it, as Wonder Woman is that she doesn't really seem very strong. She just seems very frail. But you know, she's like super powered, so she doesn't have to be. She's frail, but she's strong already. Yeah. Um, this woman just looks like Wonder Woman. Like just. She looks very built and menacing. Like, she looks like 
Next to Aquaman, she looks way more threatening than Aquaman does. So, um, besides the little bottom blue skirt thing, I actually really like the design of the top torso and her uh, leg, her legging mm-hmm. bracelets or whatever they're called, shin guards. I guess, yeah, shin, yeah, shin guards. So, what do you, what do you think? I think that one's all right too. I, I I agree with all your points that you made. What about the just don't like the 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 blue skirt? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is one where I think me and you are going to differ. Is the Martian Manhunter? Mm-hmm. Which I think looks good, although the muscles are clearly fake. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Um, it looks way too weird, and it looks way too fake. Um, He's supposed to be a Martian. It's not yeah. supposed to look not weird. I know, but I'm, I'm not saying you can't not look weird. I mean, like, Drax the Destroyer. This all just reminds me of is Drax the Destroyer. But at least Drax the Destroyer, I can actually believe... Like, but Drax the Destroyer didn't exist when this movie was being made. No, I know that. In film. For no, I, un- I understand that. I'm saying that Drax mm. the Destroyer's a big guy, Yeah. Dave Bautista, painted over. Yeah, basically. This looks like he's wearing a fake suit, and he looks like he's uh, like the thing from the canceled Fantastic Four movie that Roger Corman did. Like, it looks bad. I don't know if it looks that bad, but... It looks pretty... Bad. I mean, it's not... Obviously, that's a real drastic comparison. Yeah. But it just looks like he's wearing a big fucking suit. Like, a like he's Yeah, wearing... no, it's very... They're very clearly fake muscles. Very clear. Yeah. They're way but too But, like, defined. you know what? You know who did fake muscles that actually looked good? Was whenever they did the Fantastic Four with Michael Chiklis as the thing. I actually totally believe that that was, like, you know... Oh, I mean, he's short, but... He's got big muscles. The way they made that look looks good. Yeah. This just looks insanely goofy. Like, he's kneeling, I bet you, for a reason. Like, I bet you he's just all, like, weird torso styled. Like, he is just big torso and, like, little legs. It just, I don't like it. I know that he's a Martian, but he just, it looks bad. (laughs) He's got this weird-sized head and these bulging muscles. It just doesn't look real to me. If that's real, if that's what a real guy actually looks like, then okay, then I'll shut the hell up. But until then, I, no, I, I agree with you. He doesn't look like a real guy, but I think that um, you're being a little bit too what judgmental. Yeah, too judgmental of a character that's not even supposed to be a human. Yeah, I guess so. But I, I've seen Martian Manhunter. Man, Martian Manhunter doesn't need to look like. You know. Oh, you want to know who this? Uh, who the actor was who was supposed to play him? Who? Hugh Keys Byrne. Guy who played uh Morton Joe. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the same guy. I don't know why they would pick a older guy like that to do him, but that's who they were supposed to have. That's what it says here. Like he was keyed up to do it. Okay. Well they probably wanted somebody with a differing accent to the rest of the characters. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, that's probably true. He definitely talks a little weirder in the show. Um, okay, going on to the last one is uh, Green Lantern. And uh, I'm going to say that that's probably the second worst costume out of all of them. After yeah. Superman, I think that Green Lanterns is just... I know that like, Green Lantern's a really tough costume to do. I understand. Like, it just is a weird-looking costume. But uh, I like that they did the the black and the green like it's not just all green they they went back to that well, like you, original looking design you know what looks better about it it's not cg yeah it is not cg <laughs> as deadpool said don't animate it uh yeah it does don't cg my suit yeah whatever you do don't make the super suit green or animate it so i just think that uh the the costume for Green Lantern is so bland and boring, yeah. but I know that there's not a lot you can work with with that costume. I understand it. I like the color of it. I like the color scheme of the Green Lantern where it's black and that like brighter green. I like that. I think it works for him. Yeah, it works for him, but I don't think the costume is very good. So, Do you have anything else you want to say about these uh, costumes, Adam? No. Before we kind of close out? No, that sounds good to me. And that's pretty much the whole show today. It's kind of a shorter show because we, we've been trying. I mean, I've been trying my ass off to find some good game news. And it's just, man, it's just nonstop. PUBG, Fortnite. Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't... It's nonstop. Yeah. And it's like, well, what can we report on PUBG? But it's, I'm not going to report about an update on PUBG or Fortnite. Especially because it's yeah. a game that me and you don't play. 
Exactly. I know a lot of people play it, and I probably should at least see what the hype's all about. But I'm not. I'm not. We're not going to do. We're yeah, not. But we don't. We're not. Our our content doesn't just revolve around PUBG or Fortnite. Which we're, is so. What, if we were reporting on like the 1.02.31 update, update, yeah, it would be fucking weird for us to do that kind of shit on the show. Yeah, it just. I'm not. I understand that. That's how you're going to get your viewership because people who are really into Fortnite and PUBG, they're going to read those things. Yeah. But that's not what we do. I mean, I've actually had a. Um, like some people who I know personally be like, why don't you ever talk about Fortnite on the show? I'm like, well, I don't play Fortnite. So how can I have any, like yeah. any like viewpoint on it if yeah. I don't play it? Like, I'm not really a big, it's not that I had, I don't like it cause I've never played it, but I just, I don't have the time to, to dedicate to battle royale and yeah, right there, now. there's some, there's some video games that just don't appeal to some people. Yeah. Like, Dark like Souls. I don't think it's a, yeah. Like, he, like I do not like Dark Souls. Not, he's not even interested in trying it. Yeah. It's not my type of game. I, I it's funny because I literally own all the Dark Souls and Bloodborne and Neo, but, but I like because I like to support games like that. Like I wanted to support a game like Neo, uh, but no, I'm just not a. I don't like that style of thing. gameplay. Yeah. It's not that they're bad games at all. I just don't like them. And, and that's the same thing for me. That's like, I, if it wasn't for my friends trying to get me to try League of Legends years ago, I never would have tried it that one time, and I never would have. Re decided that I don't want to ever fucking touch this game again. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean so like, I, the, I'm not interested in MOBA. Uh, I'm not interested. That like much I like puzzle games, Royale. and you do not. You only like columns. Yeah, I mean, puzzle games aren't my thing. Yeah, they're not bad. They're just not your thing. I like action adventure. I like character development. I like racing. Yeah, and I, I just like... like some things that just kind of waste my time. It's are puzzle games. I mean, I just they're they're just kind they're kind of like yeah. time wasters to me. But I enjoy that. That's what I want. So you got anything else you want to add, Adam? Before, um, well, before we I just wanted to tell you, like, don't don't get all depressed because we don't have any game news because uh, GDC just happened. Yeah, there the news is coming, but I most of the news doesn't hit until around like April May. So once May like hits, I feel like we'll yeah. we'll start having a more steady content oh, yeah, of E three's coming up in a couple. Yeah, months. We'll, we'll we'll start having some more things, and uh, you know. That's the thing, because I, I know a lot of people are like, hey, where's the game news been? I'm like, eh, there's just nothing out right now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and at least that if there's something that you guys want us to talk about, obviously send, send us it a, in. Send it in to our Twitter page or our Facebook page or yeah, leave, a message, leave a comment. Leave a comment. We'll we'll talk about it, but I just don't have any. You know, I try to sit, uh, try to think of s- stories that me and Adam can have a dialogue about, and so it's just kind of tough whenever there's like, hey, we want to talk about. How, you know, Gears of, uh, not Gears of War, God of War 4's uh, gameplay looks. I'm like, eh, it looks good, and then that's it. Yeah, like... There's not much to digest there. there you're, you're right, there isn't. There okay, are some it's... things that are, are not worth covering. Yeah, not that I don't want to. Like, I'd love to sit here and talk about God of War 4. But until I play the game, I don't really have any speculation. Because mm-hmm. I'm not one of those people that... I, I, I really try not to buy into the hype of games before i play them Adam, i mean it depends on what it is i do sometimes but yeah i know i order 1886 <laughs> that was the one that was the one time where i never should have bought into the hype of a game mm-hmm. i mean I, I i usually like to see how the game is if everything i'm seeing looks incredible and i'm hearing good word of mouth then i'll i'll be like okay i'm getting really hyped but i mean you see me i don't really get yeah. hyped for games yeah, you do. Like, I mean, I get a little excited that things are coming out, but like outside of Metal Gear, well, have now you, you ever, have you ever seen me get that that hyped about anything? Maybe Final Fantasy fifteen. Eighteen eighty six. Was I really that hyped about? You were it? saying oh, this game is gonna be fucking incredible. Yeah, because that was like our first show. I think our first show ever we talked about eighteen eighty six, and you were like, "This is gonna be a great game." I'm like, okay. Um, it turned out it wasn't even a fucking game. Yeah, it's just a simulator. Just, to a, watch. just an interactive movie. Yeah, hallway simulator, eighteen eighty six. Yep. All right, Thank Adam, you. where can people find us? That's your job of the show. Uh, Facebook dot com backslash GTAS podcast or Twitter dot com backslash GTAS podcast. 
Okay. And then if anybody ever has any, as I said, if anybody has uh, topics they want to discuss on the show, they can always send in questions. We'll always lo- we'd love to answer some questions. Yeah, we'll do I, we'll do a segment, Bobby, and ask Bobby and Adam. Yeah, something like that. Or if, if you want Adam to answer specifically something. Intended. Just address it to me. Yeah, just address it to him or just Bob or whoever. You know, we don't, you know, I don't care. It could be, there was one guy who asked me something about Blink-182 in the comment section. I was like, okay, I'll, we don't talk about that, but I'll, I'll totally talk about Blink-182, yeah. like shit like that. Uh, I, we'll answer anything if, if we can, you know. Yeah. Don't ask me what the meaning of life is because life is meaningless. I mean, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try to answer that one. I'm not going to guarantee you anything. Talk to Adam about uh, communism. <laughs> And then I can just send him a Jen Urso picture. <laughs> Have you been noticing that yet? Yeah. yeah. That, that anything you post that's like uh, just a ridiculous thing, I just put Jen Urso now at the bottom just to yeah. like fuck I, with I, you. I started posting Saw Gerrera in, in response. Yeah, I saw that. That was like, Have you Which, come here to kill me? Yeah. I, dude, it's hard to find gifts to him because he was in that movie for like five seconds. I know. There's a there's plenty of there's plenty of Jen Urso Oh, I'm gifts. sure. It's all over the place. And I actually don't hate Jen Erso that much, but Adam just hates Rogue One so much that it's really funny to me that, like, Jen Erso is now just becoming a punchline to me, and it's really, really funny. What is the one thing you posted something about all these things that George Washington said that, like, sounds really wrong until you get to the bottom and says, oh, George Washington said this, uh, and I just posted, oh, rebellions are built on hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, everybody. Um, thank you so much for listening today and uh, until next time farewell <laughs>